just spit in my face. <laughs> you, I am not worthy. I am not worthy. What's this like for you, Sam? This must be a really big night for all of you at KTLA Channel 5. I'm Jessica Holmes. And I'm Frank Buckley, and we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of the KTLA Morning News. <laughs> 25 years of countless stories, unforgettable moments, and enough belly laughs to last a lifetime. Let's go back to how it all got started at a time when serious news was the norm. KTLA took a chance on a different type of morning show, a show that broke the mold. A show with personality, delivering the news and waking Los Angeles up with a smile, became the brand of the KTLA Morning News. And since our humble beginning, morning shows around the country have tried replicating our style, hoping to discover their very own Mark Kriske, Eric Spoman, and Sam Rubin. But let's be honest, those three simply cannot be duplicated. Right, guys? Well, maybe Sam and I, but definitely not this one. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe it's been 25 years, but when I met you guys first, first of all, I thought, Sam Rubin, come on. Mr. L.A. in Hollywood. Hello, <laughs> Mr. Hollywood. And then Eric, oh, he was Mr. Serious Reporter. Uh, yeah. Maybe back then, but we have a lot of fun together. We hang out by the pool. We even celebrate holidays together. Uh, come but, on. No question about that. You know, one thing that is so nice about the show is able to sort of gauge the mood of what's going on, the important time to be serious, or just to have a really good laugh. And nobody better at bringing the funny than our friend from Nova Scotia, the <laughs> one and only Mr. Mark Risky. People ask me about, what's Mark Krisky really like? This girl's on fire. Hey, we're on TV. Yeah! <laughs> what are you going to do, boss man? Krisky is as goofy and crazy as he appears to be on TV. Let's go out to Jennifer Chan and see what's happening in traffic. I'm Ginger Chan. Ginger. Mm. I got to get her name. Wow. <laughs> 25 years. No, I really can't imagine. And it's even hard to actually think back that I was somewhere else. I feel like I was born and raised here in my forever home. Imagine this. The first face you see in the morning is Mark Krisky. Krisky is my brother from another mother. The guy cracks me up. He may be the smartest one amongst all of us. The vitamins have me a little uh, whacked out. Hey, what? <laughs> Sometimes the girls just gotta shake it out. We started out just as a normal sort of ordinary newscast. And I can't be uh, blamed for the weather on this one. <laughs> this is my first shot. All of a sudden we started thinking this isn't going to last and we started laughing during the commercials and going oh boy and one time the laughter sort of spilled over on the air and next thing we knew the whole thing lightened up. Let's have a look at what's going on in the weather forecast. This might be, okay I'm sorry I'm sorry monkey. I'm sorry. The thing kept on evolving even though our bosses kind of I still think they go what are they doing but it clicked and it caught on. And uh, 25 years later. Good morning, I'm Mark Krisky, live at the 65th annual. <laughs> That's where we could expect to see some cooler temperatures. There you go, exactly. Megatron, you're going to be able to help out with the weather forecast? Everybody wants to do the weather. There's something about that whole green screen thing. This is so awesome. <laughs> it's going to be hot all over the place. And a long, long weekend. 84 in San Bernardino, a lot of porno being made down there. <laughs> We were a little scared when Kid Rock, <laughs> you, you never know what's going to happen. Look at that June Gloom coming way early. <laughs> <laughs> People seem to want to just uh, just whack him. I, I do believe one of the first ones was Jaja Gabor. I don't know what it's up with me, but maybe it's because I stand at the green screen and chroma key and I'm more accessible. But things have happened to me. Pie in the face, cats falling on my head. Uh, it uh, It's all part of the gig and uh, somebody's got to take the fall. Oh there he is! Look, I am the moral center and the truth center of KTLA. Come dance with me, dance she loved it. She liked it. <laughs> oh, Sorry, there he is. Are you walking in? Over a 25-year period, you're going to have so many things happen in life. And unfortunately, um, I fell ill for a period of time. Thank you, guys. It's good to be back. And the support I got from KTLA and the staff from fellow employees, and then from the viewers too. It's, it's just amazing. People still ask, hey, what happened and are you okay? And, and I'm glad to be able to say, I am perfectly fine. Through the thoughts and the prayers, uh, I'm here.
Ah, my friend, you know what? You are the true <laughs> moral compass That's of this program. You never compass, yeah. know quite what you're going to get. You know, you, Which is a good coming. thing. <laughs> <laughs> One thing you can always count on is KTLA News' really exemplary coverage. And when it comes to live spot news and all the major events that have taken place, no one better than Eric Spell. We can see the extent of the damage and the destruction wrought by last night's rioting. There's going to be uh, situations that people are going to have to cope with as they uh, get over the initial shock of the quake. KTLA 5's Eric Spillman joins us live. Eric, tell us what's happening. We're in a neighborhood uh, where homes burn. So this could be the beginning of a long, long day. Eric Spillman is awesome for many reasons. He's been here from the beginning. He is the very best at what he does. He goes out there and he tells it like it is. He'll go the extra mile when he's in the field. I like being a reporter. I, mean, I like finding out about stuff, new stuff, seeing stuff before anyone else does. You have anything to say? Excuse me, please. He gets it done. And then, the next day, he's out doing something funny and silly. Do it! Ball. Do it! <laughs> go Spillman! Uh -huh. Cannonball! Uh -huh. Eric Spillman, ladies and gentlemen. You, I am not worthy. You lose that camera, we're in big trouble. You've made me cry. <laughs> Are we now married? Eric still works at the station? Well, that's the great thing about the morning news is, is we're there for everything. We're there for the the big events that, that have changed the history of Los Angeles. And then also for the lighter moments when, you know, we can bring a smile to people's faces. The winning turtle here at Brennan's. We'll be back with more turtle racing next hour. I don't know if I can stand the excitement. One, one, two. Woo! 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 Initially, I got to do the hard news four days a week, and then I switched with Gail and got to do the feature story one day out of the week. And that was a great opportunity. We did so many fun things. Get me out of here! It's all about the fist. Always about the fist. Oh, he's shaking his fist. People really relate to the fist. Shake the fist. It's something that's happening that shouldn't be happening. And everybody recognizes that it's just plain wrong. Winter hasn't started until we've seen uh, Eric Spillman give us a snow angel. I don't know where it started. I think it was Carlos originally asked me to do a snow angel. We've done variations on snow angels. I did a dirt angel in Dodger Stadium. That is a classic. We've been friends on camera and off camera the entire time. He's the greatest guy. And there is an integrity and an intelligence to Eric Spillman that shines through on every uh, single report. The KTLA Morning News has had a tremendous impact on my life. When you wake up with KTLA Morning News, hopefully you're, you're getting something that can make you smile. Shirley McLean just happens to be here at LAX. I'm proud that you know we've been an important part of people's lives over a long period of time. You just couldn't ask for a, a more enjoyable, beneficial, fantastic experience. Fist cam. <laughs> There we go. And Eric, of course, throwing the fist to father time. How have you not aged in 25 years? I can't explain it. <laughs> it's incredible, it's incredible. And when I got here 25 years ago, as I said, you were Mr. Hollywood, now you have the experience to actually substantiate that. Here are some of Sam's greatest moments. Sammy! Hello, how are you? How are you, Sam? It's the Sam Rubin. KTLA is such a staple of LA. You look so good. We would talk about you all the time. I was on the phone with Kevin Costner today <laughs> and Tom Cruise because we were talking about the Sam Rubin moment that we knew that was coming along. So, Sam. Yes? Why did you not believe that was my butt? Sam is Sam. I mean, I can't say enough wonderful things about him. I really can't. He's such a natural. He's so knowledgeable. He's truly become a legend in Hollywood among actors. Everybody knows when he's on the red carpet, they know, hey, it's Sam. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you, George? Good. Congratulations. The man with his pulse on the industry. What's this like for you, Sam? This must be a really big night for all of you at KTLA. He's excited to come to work every day. He's like a kid in a candy store. And I think that is infectious. Very good. Wow. Wow. Let go. Come on, Sam. You got great legs, buddy. You like the wheels? Yeah, I do. They're working for you. Are you uncomfortable anyway? No, cool? it's all good. You're feeling good about it. It's one of those inside things. <laughs> I got you. Our viewers get to see this sort of inside look at entertainment that I think only someone as talented and as inside as Sam Rubin brings to the table. Oh, good. Let me show you. There you oh! go. I think that you guys absolutely own LA News. I mean, this is just morning news on steroids, and I love it. This is so unfair for Heather. <laughs> Every single day, somebody comes up to me and says, I love that show. I've grown up watching you. This thing you guys did today was hilarious. Every single day. Of course, we didn't appropriately feed him because the, all the, food, the croissants were gone, right? What is up with that? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to need to know. Yes. <laughs> the KTLA Morning News is this very deep connection that people have with the show, and we're so grateful that they do. And here's Jennifer Lawrence. Justin Hoffman just blew up the back of my dress. Well, trade places, go ahead. Yeah, you might as well. Right. Who's your favorite? People always ask me that. I feel I've met everybody. What's nice about all this, Los Angeles seems like this giant city. The whole thing, to me, feels like a small town. All right, the last time I saw Amy Adams yes. in Hollywood, we were both at Staples. And this kind of small town of Hollywood, uh, happily and in large numbers, watch the morning news. The best part of waking up is watching KTLA in the morning. You did. I'm glad Dad let me hold this. When I came here, I was 31, I was married, but I had no children at all. How hard can this be? Anyone can do it. And so now, uh, 25 years later, I'm not 31. My oldest daughter is 20, uh, 20, 15, 10, and 8. You have given me brownie points for the rest of my life. We gotta get some cookies for oh Cookie Monster. Oh boy, oh boy, cookies! <laughs> me no can wait! Good job, well done. Thank you. I had a good time. The longest relationship, Mark makes a joke about this, but it's true. I mean, Mark and I, Eric, have had this 25-year relationship with the viewers of Los Angeles. Frank and Jessica have had very long and productive relationships with the viewers as well. So, uh, you know, these are the people that, that, that we know the best, and I think to a large degree know us the best. Come on, man. <laughs> Give me a show. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, shalom to your hottest. You know? <laughs> what a difficult job you have. It is really Pick difficult. One, right? So uh, many memorable uh, moments. Let's head over to Chris, Henry, and Megan, see what's coming up next. Thanks, guys. Coming up, did you know that Henry and Megan first worked together when they were both starting their careers? We're going to talk about that. Also, it has to be one of the most memorable moments on our show. Of course, we're talking about Quake Face. I'll talk about what I was thinking both before and after coming up. Oh, that ought to be good. Yeah. Also, Gail Anderson gets emotional when she talks about one of the most defining moments of her career. Our 25th anniversary celebration continues coming up.